Ah, hello friends, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. If you enjoy a good haul, I hope that you will subscribe. Hit the bell so that you're notified of all new uploads. Cause I've got a Sephora haul. It's been a long time since I've done a Sephora haul. Honestly, at this last VIB sale, I almost missed it. I missed the Rouge sale, and then I almost missed the next weekend. And I was like, crap, I need to get some stuff. I didn't get too much, so let's jump into it. Here's the thing, I only got a couple things, but this box was like 160 bucks. The stuff I got is pretty pricey. Um, I usually save, oh, excuse me, I usually save the sale to get like really high end stuff so that I can, you know, get my most bang from a buck and save money. So first up is a recommendation from Tati. If you don't know her, she's a YouTuber, huge YouTuber. I think she just hit 4 million subscribers. She always talks about the Guerlain. Is it Guerlain? 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 Um, it's, I'm not even gonna try to sell them, say the name. It's L-O-R, Lore, Lore, I don't know. The Basically the highlighter that has real, real gold in it. It says Radiance Concentrate with Pure Gold Makeup Base. So this is a primer that's supposed to be really, really good for dry skin and really good at like firming, lifting, adding glow to the face. You need very little of it. My skin has recently just turned to being like somewhat dry combo skin, so I'm excited to try this. This is pricey. I think this was like 70 bucks, 80 bucks. I'll leave a link to it down below, but it has great reviews online. Tati talks about it a lot. The packaging is gorgeous. It just looks like a clear gel with little gold flakes in it. So I'm excited to try this. And oh my God, could I like pull my wig down before I started the video? Just beauty YouTuber 101 stuff, fix your wig. Fix your top. Come on, Nikki, get it together. So if any of you have tried this, let me know in the comments. This is a product I've heard people talk about for years, and I was always like, why does everybody love that perfume? And then I finally went into Sephora like a month or two ago, and I was like, that smells like liquid candy. I love it. So I would had it on my loves list for a while, and I was waiting for the sell. This is the Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb, and I got the 1.7 fluid ounce this was expensive, friends. Even with the sale, I think normally this is like 120, 130, and then I got 15% off. It's expensive, but I love it. And it is so hard for me to find a scent that my boyfriend likes. He's very picky about perfume. He doesn't like um, really floral scents. It says it reminds him of a grandma, so I have to be careful. He's very picky, but he did like this, thank God, because I was like, listen, this is expensive, and I like it. So if you don't like it, I don't know what we're gonna do. I'm gonna wear it. He. Basically hasn't liked any perfume I've chosen except this one. So I'm really excited. I love this and I love the packaging. I know a lot of people have this. If you have this, let me know in the comments down below. It's very, very popular. What else? I only got one more thing, friends. I got three things and I think it, my total was like $150. It's crazy. Next up, you guys know I love this. I featured this in my top five glitters. Um, this is the Touch and Shoal Touch and Shoal, Touch in Soul, Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duo. Another recommendation I first learned about from Tati. I love her channel. I watch every single one of her videos. I don't watch them as soon as they come out because I just don't have time for that. She, she uploads like as much as I do, like five days a week, I think, yeah but I can't watch it as they come out because they usually come out when I'm at work, but I'll bulk watch them. Like every two weeks, I'll just sit down and like watch the last two weeks. I love her videos. She's just really great at product recommendations. So she talked about these years ago. So it's kind of a dual ended situation. So first up on one side, you have the gel color and I have the more teal blue color, but I have like all of these shades. They have green, purple. First of all, the, sh the shadow alone is gorgeous. It's like a cream shadow. I did a full review video on these actually where I left it on for like 12 hours. If you want to see that, I'll leave a link to it down below. And then there's like a little silicone wand that has like specks it's like flakes of glitter. Um, that's the best way I can describe it. And it just adds, oh my God, they're just gorgeous. And they are long wearing and it's just, come on. Is that not beautiful for summer and spring? It's just gorgeous. So I think this was the most affordable thing I got. I think these retail for 20 bucks. I love them. I've repurchased them many times. I will leave a link to everything down below. That's all I got, friends. I didn't go crazy. I told you guys, I'm really trying to be a conscious consumer and not just buy stuff because it's new or everyone says, oh, this is great. You should buy it. I'm trying to buy things that I really need that I know that I will genuinely use because last year, I did a review of what I spent in 2017 and I was out of line. Like the amount of money I spent on beauty products was just out of line. So I'm trying to tighten it up 
reeling in, only try products that I know I will use, that I actually need. So let's jump into some product reviews. If you're new around here, I like to update you guys on products I've been loving, not loving, trying out, any new PR. I talk a lot with my hands. This is gorgeous. I mean, come on. If you have not tried this and you like a very high sheen glitter look that you want to last all day, all night, yes, Lord, this is it. Okay. Estee Lauder was kind enough to send me the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in Pecan. Thank you to Estee Lauder for sending this to me, but I have repurchased this foundation like six times. I love this. Full coverage, long wearing. It's amazing. It's sweat proof. I was going to say it's sex proof. I don't know about all that. It is sweat proof because I have worked out in it. I did. It, what made me think of that is because I was like reading reviews on Sephora and one girl was like, this was such a great foundation. It lasted through my eight hour sex session. I'm like, bitch, nobody has time for eight hour sessions. First of all, do you work? Second of all, you should take your foundation off before you do the do because it's going to sink into your pores. Anyways, that's how my brain works. I'm such a mess. I like this foundation. I've used it for years. I don't know why I'm getting off tangents. It's currently 11 o'clock at night and I'm just going cuckoo. Next up from number seven, we have the High Shine Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Sparkling Rose. I actually have this on now on top of my Milani lipstick. It's a gorgeous high shine lip gloss. See how shiny that is? It has little specks of glitter, but it's not like super gunky, sticky, messy. You know how a lot of high shine lip glosses, they're not moisturizing, they move a lot, they feel thick. This is the antithesis of that. It does not feel thick. It is very moisturizing and it's gorgeous. And I love number seven. You guys know I love them. I recently tried them for the first time last year and ever since then I'm on like a number seven kick. I love their stuff. Next up, this is from Becca Cosmetics. This this is their ultimate coverage complexion foundation. I did a full review video on this where I left it on for 24 hours. I really like this foundation. If you haven't seen that video, it should be edited and posted. I'll leave a link down below. The, I'm in the shade Sienna. Now this foundation isn't quite as thick as the Estee Lauder Double Wear, but it's almost there and it is very long wearing and they have a great shade selection. I did a video about a year and a half ago where I reviewed like all Becca cosmetics, like the foundation, um, their eyeshadows. If you want to see that, I'll leave a link to it down below. I miss doing first impressions videos. That's where you put the makeup on and I check in with you throughout the day. I want to get back into those, but this foundation is legit. I was going to say lit, but it is legit and lit. If you like a good full coverage, long wearing foundation, I think you will really like that. What else did I want to tell you about? Ooh, you guys know I've become a big fan of Mamandy. I actually use their lip sleeping mask all the time. Their theme is they kind of use a lot of floral inspiration. I think a lot of their products actually have floral ingredients in them. This is the Floral Hydro Cream. So this is a moisturizer and it has hyaluronic acid. It's amazing. I use it. Um, it says you can use morning and evening. I tend to use it in the morning because it's lightweight. It's refreshing. You can pick this up at Ulta or online. Um, I really like it a lot. I don't think you can pick this up in Ulta, but you can pick it up on Ulta's website or Mam and D's website. It's awesome. So is that it? Ooh, from First Aid Beauty, I need to show you some things I've been using. Um, they have two new acne products. These are like their acne skincare line. They have the acne clearing pads, which I use to like kind of spot treat my zits when I have them. Um, this has white clay and salicylic acid. They also have, I've been using their acne clearing charcoal cleanser. It's the typical color, like what you would think of a charcoal, you know, like a gray kind of vibe. These are really great, especially I use them on my T-zone because my pores get really big and glunked up. These are really good at like getting those impurities out of your skin. Just be careful that you don't use them too much because they can be drying because they do have salicylic acid, but I've really been enjoying using those for like spot treatments. I really enjoy First Aid Beauty. And you know you can pick up First Aid Beauty at Sephora or on their website. So that is it for me, friends. Hopefully you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. If you hit the bell, you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Check out the videos on the screen, and I will see you soon. Ciao.